Welcome back, Vibe Chasers. I hope that everyone is having a great day. And if not, it's totally fine. Just find a way to make it better. Jeez. And you'll live. <laughs> so today we're going to wrap up the Chakra series videos, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I did six different videos on the roots, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and now we're going to do the crown chakra. So before you watch this video, go watch the others, watch them in order, and then you can begin your journey with your chakras. So with that being said, today we're going to be focusing on the crown chakra. Now the crown chakra is located on the upper part of the brain, so just about right here. You'll see the lady behind me, she has hers too. The element for this chakra is the spirit. The color for this chakra is violet. I love violet. It's not too purple, but it's purple enough, but it's just right. I like to think of the crown chakra as the connection to Mother Earth. Now the crown chakra is going to house wisdom, intelligence, unity, and bliss. Now this chakra is really, really, really powerful. Again, my favorite is the third eye, but the crown chakra is really powerful. Again, in my mind, it's the connection to Mother Earth. Okay, so I feel like once you get all of your chakras activated and flowing and going and then boom, it's like, don't touch me. I'm on my spiritual journey, right? You just feel so good. Everything is just so clear. You're free. But wait, 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 wait. What if your chakra is unbalanced? Whoa. All right, let me break it down. An unbalanced crown chakra. You're going to have some isolation boredom, disconnection, and emotional distress. Now, when the crown chakra is balanced, you feel connected with your higher self, you feel connected to mother nature, you have intuition, you are enlightened, and you feel free. Everything is just like When it comes to balancing the crown chakra, you want to make sure that your other chakras are already in check, okay? Because you're never, let me take the never out. You most likely will not reach the opening of your crown chakra if all of these are just, so get these in order first so that you can reach the crown chakra. Some stuff that you can do to get your crown chakra going is yoga as always. So with yoga, you're going to do the the loudest pose, the tree pose, and the corpse pose. Practice those. Research your own and find some other yoga yoga poses that you can do. But that'll definitely get your crown chakra going. As always, meditate. Which you should be meditating anyway. Even if you're not focusing on your chakras right now, you should be meditating at least every other day, at least every two days, and that's it. So obviously when meditating, you want to visualize a little group. So tongue tied today. You want to visualize that color in that area, breathing in for 10 seconds, breathing out for 10 seconds, doing three sets. Now you can always switch up how you breathe. It's totally up to you, but that's what works for me. And that's what I like to do. So I figured I'd share it with you. Also, while you're meditating, you can chant Aum. Um, so Something like this. Um, you really want to drag out the um. I actually have a tattoo on my neck right here. But anyway, so yeah, so that's going to match the vibration that you need for that crown chakra. So give that a try. There's other chants that you can do for different chakras, but for per particularly... Dang, I have a hard time saying particularly. <laughs> particularly, <laughs> chant, um, and drag out the M. As always, you can activate that crown chakra by using crystals. So go ahead and pop an amethyst right on the top of your head. 
Go ahead and meditate. Visualize that color in that area. Moving in a clockwise direction. And just chill. Relax. And see how you feel. Practice it. Over time. Get those other chakras going. And ooh. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel for real, real, real good. Some herbs and some vegetables that you can use to activate and stimulate that chakra, whether if you want to consume them or if you want to apply them on your skin. You grab yourself some basil, some lavender, or some kale. You can find these in essential oils, or you can actually find the plant itself. You can um, combine these into your dishes that you cook. So yeah, you can just put them on your skin or put them in your food. Five chasers, always keep in mind that you can do sound therapy, right? Find that frequency that you need. You can eat different types of food. You can detox. Do your research. We'll explore the chakras more and more this year. Stay tuned. Vibe Chasers, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you either like, comment, share, subscribe. Do something, dang. <laughs> thank you for watching, Vibe Chasers.